I know what you're thinking. Holy crap. Those people look relatively familiar. But also different. <laughs> yeah, we do Like strangers. One it has long hair and one's a redhead now. Whatever. We, um... Haven't made a video in a really long in time. Like forever. Part of it was, and this is not like an excuses video, <clears throat> but I actually was filming all of my videos from my iPhone. Well, I don't know if you can see, but I dropped it and shattered it really, really well. You can't it looks see. fine. It's shattered, trust me. And the way that I dropped it, the um, part that's over the camera that faces you is completely broken. It's like a really first world problem. I can't take selfies anymore. I can't film myself and see what I'm doing. So um, I got another camera a couple days ago and can now film videos again. I've actually missed it. I enjoy making them. And Rochelle's just had a lot of crap going on. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> crap is like the... Yeah. It's just been like a kind of rough time of year and I've been busy with work stuff and also... um just like I haven't read in many books I barely met my like yearly goal for 2014 I haven't watched many TV shows or movies like I haven't done much of anything except for just do work and come home and like sit in darkness and silence so yeah well and it's the same yay. can be said for the end of a school year like even though it's um not the end of the school year busiest time for us is November December because of um for me, because of programs at this school, almost every single day something like pretty significant was going on at the school where I teach. And so um, I was making pageant costumes and, you know, doing progress reports, report cards, all those kind of things. And it was just, and then, you know, we were out for Christmas and traveling and stuff. So, but yeah. we want to start doing videos again. Um, I definitely Hopefully do. for 2015, we will be more consistent. <laughs> I mean, you know how that goes. Like, we would be full of crap, but whatever. Um, True. But I'm actually really excited about making videos because it was suggested to me that I, not in like a hateful way, not like you need to find a hobby, but um, I was told that it is important for my sanity to A, exercise, which I hate, but I'm going to have to do it, and also to find a hobby. And one of the hobbies that I used to really enjoy was doing YouTube. I was really um, bummed when my camera broke because that was kind of, not an outlet for me necessarily, but just something, um, you know, kind of for me, like I like to talk to people when I like to talk about beauty products and movies and things like that. And so, um, I think that'll be good for me to get back into all that again, but we're going to talk a little bit today about New Year's resolutions. I'm going to let Rochelle start. Um, I don't really have many resolutions. I have some reading resolutions, but, um, they're in a notebook at home and not with me. So, um, I don't remember what those were. Um, but basically, like, I don't usually make many resolutions because I think that they're, um... Stupid. They are. And you <laughs> don't generally do them, like, very much. Like, you exercise for the first four to six weeks of the year and then you stop. Um, or you eat a salad every single day for a week and then you're like, this is actually terrible. I don't want to do this anymore. So, um, I don't make a lot of resolutions. I just try to... Sorry, we're in a parking lot, and there's people putting a giant Great Dane. They were shoving it into a truck, and then there's a guy doing, like, very large donuts in a minivan in front of us. So, if you see us looking, Do we're you? Whatever watching it is. weird stuff. Um, but, yeah, so I think that, like, a lot of times I just feel worse about myself when I make resolutions. Um, so, I try to just set, like, reasonable goals. Like, that's why I do a lot of reading goals. And last year, I wanted to read a certain number of books, and I wanted to use my library more, and I wanted to... Um, read more diversely. Those were things I did last year and I was pretty successful with that. Um, this year it's kind of similar as far as the reading stuff goes. I've made some of those. But as far as like my everyday life, um, I would like to put my feet into both oceans that border the United States. So <coughs> um, I usually see the Atlantic every year and that's great. But I would like to um, put my feet in the Pacific Ocean and I don't know how likely that is to happen. I don't know if it's going to be an easy thing to do or not. But it's a thing I'm going to try to do. Um, and other than that, like, I spent a lot of time this week that I was off of a break, um, kind of sorting through my room and I'm going through and like purging clothes and purging, um, old things that I had kept that I don't really need to keep anymore. And I'm going to do the same thing with my bookshelves. So that's frightening because I don't like to get rid of things. Like that makes me really uncomfortable. So, um, hopefully that will be a stress-free 
endeavor, but will also like free up space for me to buy new books or I don't know, something else. So those are pretty much what I'm doing, like purging things that I don't need in my life as far as material items. And I'm maybe gonna see the Pacific Ocean this year for the first time ever. You go see my sister and see it. Maybe. Her, although they have warnings a lot of where she lives because it's like super polluted. <laughs> but she can take you to a part of the ocean that's not super polluted. Anyway, I, um, well, the exercise thing is more about managing like stress and anxiety. I don't get stressed about day to day stuff very often. Like, I get a lot of comments <laughs> about that on my progress reports at the school where I work from that are written about me. That, like I kind of can roll with the punches but I am very much um someone that worries about like the future in my family a lot of that has to do with the way I grew up and I need to find some outlets for that because I really don't have any and so I would like to find a way to make exercise not suck um I hate it I've always hated it I hated pee I was that kid who would like purposely untie my shoes so I didn't have to run um it's just not something I enjoy. Like, I know there's a lot of people that rock climb and run and do all these things. My sister loves to run. She was really upset over Christmas because she has shin splints and she can't run. And I was like, I don't really see, like, where that's yeah. a problem. You have to watch more TV. I don't hate it. Um, and so, like, I've got to find some kind of way. We were just talking about maybe, since we live in different towns, um, maybe, like, calling each other while we're walking, you know, for 30 or 40 minutes or whatever it is. So it seems more social and less like exercise, but I just need to find some way to make it tolerable. Um, and then the other thing I want to do is I, when I was younger, I had a lot of hobbies. Like I like to write. I used to teach music. Um, I used to play instruments. I used to do art, all of these things. And kind of once I got, um, into like the later part of college and started working, um, part of why I stopped, I think was because I didn't have time. And then, like, over time, I became less enthusiastic about, like, hobbies. And I think now that's something that's important for me to try to find. Like, you know, whether it's, like, taking a cooking class or, you know, painting or drawing or doing something, um, something musical. Like, I don't really know exactly what it's going to be or if it's going to be several things. But I need to find something um, kind of more creative, like, you know, writing. Even if it's sort of non-aggressive, like, just writing for myself or just drawing with pastels or something. I need to get a hobby <laughs> or crocheting or knitting. Like, I have no idea. I don't know. I think probably what's going to happen is I'm going to end up trying, like, several things and then sort of just whatever speaks to me. Um, I used to love doing crafts. I don't do crafts anymore. I don't do anything. Mainly my hobby right now is being a professional um movie critic on netflix which means clicking three or four stars or one star if it's um salted pride but anyway uh that's you know i don't have any like major goals i would also like to really work on my fear of like doctors and medical stuff but that's not necessarily like a resolution that's just something that i've needed to do for like 30 years but whatever anywho um, I guess that's it for right now because we don't want this video to be super long, but we are going to start making videos again. If you have any suggestions that aren't like super crazy, leave them in the comments below and we'll talk to you later. If you have suggestions for hobbies for Alyssa, <laughs> yeah, any hobbies, leave them below. Anything. All right, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.